when I was 18, I was, um, I had a life-altering um, injury. So in deciding what I wanted to do after that, I kind of um, bounced around from, from idea to idea in terms of what I wanted to do and finally landed that I wanted to do something in injury prevention. And when I went back to university in 1985, I really went back to university with the idea of, of, of becoming a psychologist or somebody that could help people with acquired disabilities to adjust to the changes that it, it makes in your life. When I went back to university in 1985, I really was going with, with the idea that I wouldn't stop till I got a PhD. And um, over the years, I've done my master's while working full time, and I did my PhD while working full time too. So it's been a lifelong dream of mine. And the reason I chose uh, public health is because that's where my passion lies. It's in, it's in making people aware that the, the impact of public health and that um, it's not that we just have to um, treat illness uh, and injury. We can do something to prevent most illnesses and injuries. Public health has a lot to offer all students um, in terms of the breadth of public health, but I think that my advice would be to find something that they're passionate about and um, really hone in on one area, whether it's uh, you know, dealing with HIV in, in Uganda, to water issues in Sub-Sahara Africa, to injury prevention. Find something that you're passionate about and grow that passion.